Hello, welcome uh, to Tom's Kitchen. I hope that you are all well. Um, yeah, so welcome. Uh, we have a few changes today, um, which is we have a microphone. So you should be able to hear me a bit better. Um, let me know uh, people that have been in the previous weeks, if you uh, can tell if there's a difference in audio quality. I'm hoping so. Um, also, if you haven't noticed, there's a bit of a screen difference um, where we now have scrolling text. That side, there you go. Not professional yet, but I'm getting there. Um, and then we've got little, uh, whoop, there you go, that side of my thing and my social medias. So, uh, welcome everyone to today's live stream. Uh, remember, put yourself in the chat, say hello, that sort of thing. Um, so, what we are going to do is we are going to start with the naan breads first. Okay, because they're going to have a little bit of time to uh, prove. And then we're going to do the sweet potato curry. Um, so, yeah, I hope everyone is well. Um, so, we are going to crack on with it. If, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the setup. If the setup's nice, uh, trying to improve it, ready for international PKU day in two weeks' time. Um, obviously, my live streams have now changed to every two weeks um, because I'm getting slow and slowly more and more busy. Um, but also, you are too. Um, so we're going to try and make it more of like an event uh, thing. So uh, what we are going to do is we're going to do naan bread. So I've got kind of a split going on here. So naan bread's on this side. And then we've got sweet potato curry. Um, so the recipe is in the description, but I will also put it in the chat. So let me just do this. Hopefully that will help. Okay, so this is the recipe for today. Both of them are on there. Um, so what we're going to do first of all with naan breads. So we have my mum. Hello, Tamara. Uh, Hannah says definitely a sound improvement. That's good. Uh, it kind of got to a stage where I was like, this is what I do, not stream, but I do media. So it should be sounding good. Um, so hopefully this is sounding better and a bit more fuller because I was watching back and it was quite echoey. Um, so yeah, hopefully less so with this. So what we're gonna do first of all is we are gonna get our flour. As the scrolling text says, uh, ask any questions in the chat if anybody's new here, uh, I'm Tom. Uh, I've got PKU, not a professional chef, um, but I give it a go. That's that's the main thing. Um, so, we are going to do our naan breads. Now, apparently this makes six naan breads. I haven't tried it, so I'm literally doing it um, new in front of you. So that is my caveat to whether anything goes wrong or right. Okay, um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully it goes all smooth, but we will see. So, naan breads. We have our flour with the yeast inside, so we need to put this in, first of all. So we pop the whole bag in, not the actual whole bag as I've just done, but the whole bag of flour. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to add in the yeast back it into this. I've never had naan breads, so this will be a new thing for me. Um, has anybody tried this before? Let me know. Let me know the successes. Um, let me know the failures too, but mainly the successes. So. <laughs> I need some scissors. Okay, so we're going to add in the yeast, so that's yeast. Um, so on the recipe it says that you need um, can, can, cannola oil. Um, that is unfortunately not in my house. So what I'm going to do instead is replace it with olive oil instead. We'll see if it does the same difference, I'll let you know. Um, but also it says that you could add uh, gravy browning in. Um, that's obviously for colour. 
Um, I don't have any grave browning, um, so I'm going to have probably the pastiest naan beds going, but that's just what it is. So, um, cool. So what we're going to do is then we're going to add in a little bit of salt. So you want two teaspoons of salt. So let me get my spoons. You would have thought I'd remember the spoons by now, but I don't. So two teaspoons. Have people been uh, cooking? I know. I don't know. See, is it clusters lockdown now? I don't know. I'm still not going out really. Um, but it seems a bit weird to class it as, as lockdown. But yeah. So, what have people been cooking in lockdown and that sort of thing? Let me know. Um, I've seen that Julie's uh, Jess has been doing daily cooking, which is uh, very, very, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. I do do daily cooking, obviously, to, to survive the diet. But um, yeah, doing a new recipe every day, that is, that is impressive. So, uh, what we're going to do now is um, put the whole lid of pepper in the thing. Unfortunately, I didn't include that on the recipe, but it is there. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. All we need now is just a little bit of pepper. Not too much. Apparently people can hear my uh, my jazz tunes. Let me know if it's too much. Um, I will just reduce it down a little bit because I don't want to get copyrighted. Uh, so, uh, I'll just reduce it a little bit more. Cool. So, we have our uh, pepper and salt in there. So what we need to do is now just stir this in. Bit of my head is being chopped off, so I will come and adjust this. The main thing is the yeast makes it its way around, or the yeast replacement, or the yeast extract. It's making its way around all the lick, all the mixture. Okay, so I'm just going to So my head should be a bit less chopped off now. That's good. So what we're going to do now is uh, we are going to mix the oils. And if you had gravy browning, you'd mix the gravy browning in at this point um, in a warm and in a warm jug. Not a warm jug, warm water in a jug. There you go. So we're just going to run the tap until it's warm. There's a reason why I don't normally do these on Sundays. And it's obviously because I don't have a clue what I'm doing and I'm too casual for my own good. So, we are going to do about 450 mils of warm water and then we're going to add in about 80 mils of these different oils. Okay, so we're just going to wait for this to go warm. Okay, right, so um, what we are going to do now is we are going to add the oils in now. So we're going to have um, half, a quarter of a cup. So I've got my, my cup spoons here. Um, quarter of a cup of, uh, this would be the cannoli oil. Um, but instead, I'm going to use olive oil. So we're going to pour this in to the water. Okay. And then we want two tablespoons of um, sunflower oil. So if I get my tablespoons, cut two tablespoons of sunflower. OK, 
Okay. So, now what we're going to do, I'm just going to get this a little bit of a wash. Anybody that's tuned into other weeks will know how precious I am about my spoons. So, always got to keep on top of the spoon washing. Don't think I need a quarter, the cup thing yet. Right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to mix this in, um, mix the oils. So we're going to mix this in as much as you can, because obviously oil and water is meant to separate, so it's okay. Okay, and then what we're going to do once this is kind of as much as you can mix it in, we're going to pour it in here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to whisk. Okay. So you can use the, uh, as it says here, you can use your electric mixer or a whisk. Um, so I'm just going to use a whisk. I do have an electric mixer now, but I thought I'd stick to what I know. I've already added in graphics and mics and that sort of things. Um, so I didn't want to kind of uh, add in too much new stuff <laughs> for me to get used to. Okay. So. Nice gloopy mixture now. Make sure that you're trying to get all the flour into it. So obviously this is kind of sticking to the sides of the bowl. So you want to try and make sure that you're working it round. So I'm just making sure that the sides of the bowl still take into this liquid. And you just got to stir it or whisk it or blend it or whatever you want to do. Just so you're kind of making this as smooth as you can. Get in there. I am still looking for any ideas on what to do for the International PKU Day. Um, I'm feeling pressure now, <laughs> considering I'm part of the programme. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything that, uh, that I haven't done or um, that's within an hour and a half and could help people with experimenting with cooking. Okay. So, let's get in there. Okay. So what we're going to do now, now this is the messy bit. I'm going to get my spoon holder. Okay, I'm going to get my spoon holder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put, it says uh, cling, cling film or cling wrap um, in the recipe. I don't have any cling film will cling wrap. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use foil. Um, just as a placing idea. So now what we're going to do is we're going to weigh out the mixture for the naan breads. Okay. So I'm just going to get my foil. So it says here place a piece of cling wrap onto weighing scale. So this is what I'm doing. I'm very conscious that some people don't like the sound of foil. Okay, so I'm placing my my foil on my uh, on my scales. Okay, and then what it says there is um, dust a little bit over the wrap. So we're going to dust a little bit of flour. We don't want it sticking. So I'm just going to open up a new packet just for some so for some flour. Some of you might like this. I don't like being messy, personally, but uh, this is the messy part <laughs> of the recipe. 
Okay. So then what we're going to do is uh, over the wrap and hands to stop it. So you need it over your hands too. So it's almost like you're doing, uh, you know when they put the chalk on for gymnastics, like doing that. I should have removed my watch and jewelry. I have now. Right, so you don't want it to stick to your hands, so you want your hands to be uh, chalked up as well. You want to be able to see your scales. So that's what I'm doing. Right, so we need 150, use a large spoon. This might be large enough. Uh, so what we need now is, take a large spoon and pull it on. We need 150 grams of this on a uh, wrap or foil. A little bit more. Okay, so that's about 150. Okay, after weighing, then gently transfer. So, what you need to do now is you need to transfer this to your hand. So, that's why you need it. You need your hands to be floured. One hand is more floured than the other. This is messy. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put that back down there because I needed to have floured my hands up a bit more. Again, uh, people of previous weeks will know I'm slowly, and I mean slowly, getting used to how much flour I need to put on myself. <laughs> to, to put to stop things sticking okay so let's start again yeah <laughs> so we've lost about 30 grams of lit of mixture let's put it over the mixture put it over myself be prepared to get messy okay Make sure that you can see your scales. <laughs> Pour a little bit on to make it up to the one, the 150 mark. Okay. Make sure that you've got plenty on on your hands. Okay, let me do that. And do it until the mixture is smooth in your hands. And then what you want to do is you want to dust the work surface of flour. You want the mixture to be smooth, as smooth as you can. And then what we want to do is we want to place this down on the work surface, like that. And get it everywhere, all nice and messy this is. Okay, and then um, we're going to shape it into a sausage shape. Okay, so now this is where we're making the naan bread look of it. Okay, what you do need to do is you need to have had, which I haven't had yet, but I will be, um, doing a grease a pre-greased baking tray, which is what you're going to uh, transfer it on. So let me just get a baking tray up. Okay, so then we're going to just grease this up. comments in the chats. Hello Suzanne, hope you're well. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're going to transfer this. So I'm going to put it about here just because this is the less, the less mucky part. Put some flour on your hands because you don't want it to stick. I've got some tidying to do after this. Okay, we're going to put it on there. Okay, it should be about pat the dough until it's flat. So that's what I'm doing. I'm patting it flat. You can't really see it, but I am. You want it to be about half a centimeter thick. Yeah. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat this. We're going to probably end up with two baking trays. Um, so I'm just going to grease up another baking tray and prep. And then we're going to use all the liquid to repeat that exercise and put them all on the trays. Okay, we should end up with about six. Um, but obviously I had to start one a bit again. Um, so we will see. So, trays. Greasing up the tray. Okay. Suzanne, you're looking forward to the naan breads. No pressure, no pressure. Hopefully it will turn out good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting my way there. Right, so we've got two greased up things. So let's continue with our crazy technique that we're doing. Um, remember, you want flour, you want flour on your hands, you want to be able to see your scales, okay, and then you want 150, ml, 150 grams of liquid or mixture on here, okay, so we got that, then what we're going to do, that hand could probably do with a bit more flour. And transfer that, transfer it, transfer it, transfer it, transfer it, transfer it. Cool. So now the mixture's flat. Let's put it down on the surface. Pull it into a relative sausage shape. Okay. And then we're going to get probably a fish slice because that's probably what I didn't do right last time. Onto here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pat this down and shape it. To be honest, you could probably just shape it straight on the baking tray, um, rather than doing that. Put it on the surface and then take it, kind of thing. Because it's kind of a bit of a not a not necessarily a needed step in a sense. Okay, so again, because you're going to have to keep washing your hands after every one, because you don't want mixture sticking to mixture. I feel like this might be my messiest week that I've done, so we shall see. Okay, so then what we're going to do again, we're going to repeat the process. Again, make sure everything's topped up. Pull it with your hands. When my scales decide to look past all the flour that it's got on it. <laughs> okay. okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use some of this flour. Transfer it, transfer it. Make sure it's getting loads of flour on it. Okay, then pull it on. Okay.
I didn't realize that people can pick up the jazz so easily. It's my background, so I'll just reduce it down slightly. There you go. It's mainly for me to realize that I'm not just talking to no one, that there is a little bit of atmosphere. Right, so that's that baking tray out of the way. What you want to do with the baking tray is that you want to kind of, um, I'm going to get some bags. So we want to put these to prove. It's too small. This one won't be enough. There you go. So we want to put these to prove. Um, so. Over. Make sure that none of um, there you go. make sure none of the mixture is going to stick. So now that's proven at the back. If I was on Bake Off, I'd have a proofing drawer. Um, yeah. So remember with these, when it's proven, it's going to grow. So actually, that tray was quite condensed. So we might end up with them all kind of conjoling together. So with this next tray that we're doing, we're going to do it a little bit more spaced out to see if that's a difference. Okay. Um, can people still hear the jazz then? This is the, like, the biggest thing out of the whole thing, is can people hear the jazz that I'm playing? Get a little insight into me. I can't work without any form of like music or, um, what's it called? Or instrumental music is the thing that I work to the most. Okay, so let's do it again. So we want 150 grams on here. Just a little bit more. Okay, make sure that you are nice and floured up in your hands. And then we're just going to transfer, transfer, put a little bit more flour on my hand, transfer, and then we're going to put this down on here. So again, patting it down. Yep. And then we're probably going to do one more, even if the mixture allows some more. I only have two, uh, two shelves are in my oven. So um, I'll only do two baking trays. So let's keep it going again. Wipe my hands. I feel like quite slimy. <laughs> but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of cleaning after this. Uh, right, so. Repeat again. We've kind of done a fair few now, so we're just going to have to do a little bit on the foil because it's losing a bit. Every time you put something on, it loses it. Um, pull it on ourselves. Right. I can't, yeah, so don't worry. I can't have the jazz too loud, otherwise YouTube can copyright you. So... That's why I'm conscious that if, if a few people can hear it, that's fine. It's not an intention for the, for the audience to hear it. And uh, yeah, as long as people are appreciating my new mic um, and people can hear me better than they could, then that's the main thing. Okay, so. Transfer, transfer, transfer. Just make sure it's flat. There you go. I'm going to flip it down. Okay, so we're going to have five pit of breads. So that's the second tray. So they've got a little bit more space to grow in this time, whereas before it was quite crammed. So I'm just going to wipe my hands down. 
and then we are going to um, pull it in the proving bags. When I say proving bags, I mean obviously a bin bag, but we're going to pull it in. So let's get the proving bag in. That's fine, Suzanne. I'm a little bit deaf too, so it's all good. Uh, so that's why I'm always like, is it too loud? Is it not? Uh, don't, don't worry about it. The main thing is, is that you can hear me. This mic is doing some good and you're picking up everything that I'm apparently wisdomingly saying. So I'm just going to put this in again. Put it over here. Make sure it doesn't um, it doesn't encroach on your things. There you go. So I got a little lovely little virus there. Obviously, um, you can use more more of this if you wanted. Um, you may probably get away with smaller pit of birds. Um, so that's just there as a this is what I've used sort of thing. So. We are going to do a little bit of a tidy because <laughs> these scales have seen better days. <laughs> this is why you probably had a bigger cling film or uh, foil or that sort of thing um, rather than um, just putting it on your scales like I did. So while these are proving, we are going to crack on with our sweet potato curry. Okay. For the for the for the people that have just come, the Suzannes and the Anitas and stuff, uh, what do people think of the scrolling bar thing at the top right? Kind of reminds you of what we're doing in case people forget. Um, I also did that because then I could have in my next one uh, in two weeks time. International PKU Day can be in the top right. That sort of thing, um, so yeah, we're just gonna try and clear this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have any cling film, so <laughs> cling film over the scales would be far more useful than having all this flour on your surface. But um, it is what it is. So I'm just moving my bin. Okay. So. Okay, so we just give this another wipe down and then we're going to crack on with the curry. So this, this is why I've done fortnightly, because then I can bring new fancy stuff like the scrolling bar and, uh, and a new mic and I don't know what else I'll be able to bring anytime soon. Um, but it's getting better, the setup's getting better, slowly but surely. Okay, um, so we're looking all good now. Yeah, and obviously you've realised that some of the recipes, and I'll put the recipe up in the chat now, um, some of the recipes, uh, sometimes you don't have the things that the recipes are needed, um, that is needed, so it's all about adaption, isn't it? So, um, it's about adaption and uh, adapting, so that's why I don't have cling film, but I have foil, sort of, philosophy. So... Now we're doing sweet potato curry. So I've put the uh, I've put the recipe in the chat. So that is now um, what we're going to be doing, and that's what is on all of this side. Okay, so we've wiped it down. We've got sweet potato curry now, so I'm going to put that over here. We have, and I've prepped these things. So I've cut these things already, um, and these are the variety of different things that we're going to be needing. 
Okay. Um, so what we're going to do first of all is we are going to fill up a kettle because we're going to have to do stock you. So we want the water for the jug. So fill it on. There you go. Um, we're going to need this jug, so I'm just going to wipe down this jug. Um, an addition, obviously, in here. So what we have is we have um, all of our ingredients that we're going to need for the recipe. That is what my... There you go. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet for International PKU Day. I am more than open for... Uh, suggestions and I'll see what I can do it's got to be about an hour and a half's worth so yeah uh, Julie that is what mine looks like yeah see this is this is why I do it um, I can't uh, you know the, the professional chefs hide all this whereas this is my kitchen uh, when I turn this off it will still be my kitchen so it has to look relatively normal or good so what we are doing is, if you look at the recipe, you will see that um, that there's certain, obviously, levels here. But what I'm going to do, because I like making things in bulk, is I'm going to do double. Okay. Um, I think me and, me and Julie were talking about how portions, uh, the portions can't necessarily, don't always relate up. So um, I'm going to do double. Um, the only thing that I'm not doing double in the recipe, because when I'm doing double, I mean that I'm going to have the curry for another day, um, is the broccoli. Because obviously broccoli is exchanges. Um, so the broccoli is going to be exclusively for today. And then the curry, the, the curry for the next day isn't going to have any broccoli. So I haven't doubled um, the broccoli because I can't guarantee how much I'm going to have today, how much I'm going to have tomorrow if I pull it all uh, in one. Okay, so I'm just going to have to make sure that when I'm serving up the curry, um, that all the broccoli ends up in today's portion, if that makes sense. So, um, I've doubled the sweet potatoes, I've doubled the onion, so that's one whole onion there, it's meant to be half an onion. That's 500 grams of sweet potato, um, that's 90 grams of broccoli, um, so that is one and a half exchanges, and I've got chopped, finely chopped chilli here. Um, and then we've got cumin seeds, turmeric, stock cube, which we're going to make stock now, uh, curry powder, and garlic, because you could do garlic, but I always use this jar, don't I now? Um, so, yeah, that's kind of everything that we are using for our curry. And then once we've started the curry, we'll check on these guys and what they're doing. Um, but it takes a little bit of time to, um, to prove. And the naan breads will only take about a minute to a minute and a half when in the oven so it won't take long to cook so we have oh anita likes my melon cushions there you get hang on so the cushions that anita is referring to is seen in the behind the scenes photo so these are my watermelon cushions that is my kitchen chair cushions so they're the cushions that anita is referring to when she says she likes my melon cushions so uh yeah random things that you didn't think you'd see on a live stream right so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make up our stock. So I'm just going to flip these around. Okay, so the stock we want to make is about 400 mil. And obviously one stock cube, um, which I had here, one of these stock cubes, which is a callow stock cube, uh, makes up 500 mil, as it is. So, we're, so it's actually worked out better because the original recipe only said 200 mil. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour this in. And then we're going to do it to half a litre. I'm going to give it a good, good stir now. And break it up. Um, in terms of prep with these things, it only took about 10-15 minutes, um, so it's not too 
time incent uh, to, to time consuming. That's the word. Okay. You also are seeing the progression of how long my hair is getting on these live streams. Because obviously I haven't been to a hairdresser's yet. So that's our stock. Okay, so that's our stock. So we're gonna add that in in a little bit. I'm gonna remove this thing. We got any comments? Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is, um, we are going to keep looking at the numbered one. Right. So we're going to heat the frying pan. So we have a frying pan here, or I've got a big pan. Um, because uh, I'm making double, so it won't fit in a frying pan. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to transition to the back. Let's hopefully this camera is working. Okay, let's give it a go. Remote, live view, take that off. Okay, so we're going to transition back. Ooh. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing with the... Thing. We're going to turn this on, turn on the oven. We're going to do about, um, we're going to do, we're going to do two tablespoons of olive oil. So we're just get my spoons. Okay, so that's two tablespoons of olive oil that's gone in there. You're slowly, uh, You slowly see that getting back more and more in terms of heating up. Okay, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to heat the oil and then you want to add the garlic and the onions over a medium heat. So you want it to get a little bit warm. Then we're going to add in the garlic, which is two cloves, but with this jar, it's going to be. Um, four so it's doubled so two cloves doubled is four so then four of these so one teaspoon equals enough garlic uh, so that's one clove of garlic okay and then we're going to add in the onions into this onions okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our little stir up make sure that this is stirring away okay so we want the garlic and the onions to soften that's what we're looking for to soften we don't want to burn the garlic that's why you're in kind of a medium heat so in a one out of six hob I'm on four at the moment okay so we'll come transition back hello um, so we got any I like the camera work because I, I work in media, so it needs to be looking good, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, so that's my that's my logic. Uh, hi Caroline, I'm good. Um, what have, oh, you've ordered one of the weighing spoons. Okay, yeah, let me know how that goes. That looks like like voodoo. That does that weighing spoon, but it looks good. So yeah, let me know how that goes. Um, okay. So, what we are going to do is we are going to, this is probably getting there now. So, we're going to transition back. 
Oh, the camera's not working. You may not get this camera else, but also <laughs> it means that the camera just uh, the camera decides to turn itself off, which isn't good. Make it not go on. So, cool. So we should be now back to that angle. Let me have a look. Right, I do that. Come back. Cool. So now that's that's doing its thing. Okay, so that's now cooking away. I take it down a little bit. Um, then what we want to do is we want to add the chilli in, you want to add the cumin seeds, the curry powder and the turmeric powder and then fry for a further minute. Okay, so we've got our curry powder here, which is out of focus. Um, so we're going to do one teaspoon of curry powder. Then we're going to need cumin seeds, so again, one teaspoon, but that's double, so then that's two. With this. Okay, I'm just going to whisk this round. Whoa, properly smelling now. Okay, so, oh, has it gone off again? No, why has it gone off? Oh, me and this camera, we're falling out today. And then we're going to add the turmeric in. Once this camera decides to work, it's obviously knowing it's the day of the Lord, so it doesn't want to uh, work. Okay, so let's give that a go. Now. <laughs> hmm. Is that not good? Right, I'll just have to pull it in through here, and then uh, we'll work out it from this angle. Okay, because you want to add it in all at the same time. So turmeric flour, you want two teaspoons again. Yeah. <coughs> so I've added that in. I'll serve this round. Make sure it's trying not to stick too much. So that's now cooked for a little bit of time. Um, I'm going to see what's going on with this camera, but it's a bit temperamental. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to be adding in this, and then we're going to be adding in uh, tomato puree. Okay, into that. So it should be doing its thing now. Um, I'm just going to give this a go. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's give this a go. One last chance with this camera, otherwise we will just be having to do it from this angle. Okay, so now you can see it doing its thing. So what we're going to do now nice now we're going to add in our vegetable stock okay 
Okay, so that's adding in our vegetable stock. And then what we also need to add in, still working, that's good, um, is uh, two tablespoons of tomato puree. And then obviously we are doubling this because we're doubling the whole recipe. Still working? Cool. Okay, so that's doing its thing now. And then we get twist this round. So you can see it's actually changed colour a little bit now. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to bring this to a simmer. So we're waiting for this to simmer up, which it's not doing at the moment. Um, oh, we need to add the chilies in. That's what we needed to add in. Forgot to add the chilies in. So I'll be doing this thing now. Okay, so we're going to let this wing to simmer and then we're going to be doing these uh, vegetables. Okay, so I'm just going to bring you back. Boom, hello. Right, so here are the vegetables that we're going to put in, um, but that's only once it's come to simmer. Okay, so uh, yeah, we are going to do uh, yeah, so I know I use the dessert spoon, it's just the tablespoon measurement that I have at the moment. It's quite oily, so I don't add in more oil. So I use the dessert spoon and then just did the equivalents, um, the equivalent uh, mixtures. Um, so I can add in a little bit more tomato puree maybe. Just to thicken it up a bit. This is going to do its thing. Okay, we're waiting for that to simmer. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we are going to have a look at these naan breads. Okay. So I'm just going to add in a little bit more. Just because you want it to kind of go thick. Not too thick, but you don't want it to go as thick as the... Uh, as thin as the stock was. Okay, so now that's looking nice. Cool. So, we're gonna heat. So, I made a mistake before. It's not the oven, it's the grill that we're gonna use, okay? So, I'm gonna put the grill on. I'm gonna move this out of the way because all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the baking tray in once we've uh, snipped it out, like snipped off the bags. Um, and they literally take about a minute and a half. Um, and then you just flip them and they'll be looking like pitters, hopefully. So let me just have a little check of whether they've doubled in size a little bit. Yeah, they get in there. So we'll just give them a few more minutes. We'll basically wait for this to simmer, add the stuff in, and then we'll work on pitters. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna add this in because it's now coming to simmering. So I'll take you back to the back of the thing. So let me do this. It's still working. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so it's simmering away now. You can see. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add in the veg. Okay. So we are looking at the sweet potato and the broccoli, and we're going to be having them simmering here until ten minutes. All the sweet potatoes cooked through. So we're going to add in the sweet potato. So the sweet potatoes are in there, and then we're going to add in the broccoli. 
and then we make sure that we cover all of this with our liquids. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to let this simmer. So I might get my lid for it. If I can find it, now nah, we'll just leave it open just so people can see it. So that's how it's looking at the moment. Um, that will now simmer for about 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, it's looking, looking nice So It's getting there. You can see how vital the liquid is now to make sure that all of the veg is covered. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the naan bread. So we'll come back to that. Okay, so, move these to the side, we'll start with these, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off, otherwise we can get it into the liquid, uh, we can get it into the, um, what's it called, we can get it into the, the mixture, we don't want that. Right, so these have kind of doubled, yeah, what they got there. So that's what they're looking like at the moment. Quite big. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put them in the oven, keep an eye on them, um, and then switch, flip them after like a minute and a half and going, going kind of goldeny. So, fish slice at the ready. Where's, where, where's my other fish slice? I've already used it. Uh -huh. There it is. Right. Okay. So obviously, if you were doing it and you weren't trying to show off your uh, your curry making, then um, you would put a lid on it. Um, I'm just doing it just so I can uh, I can have it there so then people can be able to see it. So I've had to increase the temperature a little bit just to counteract that to make sure it gets to the simmering stage. But it's getting there, so then after that it'll be 10 minutes um, for that. So, um, what are we doing? Cool, so... These are looking nearly double, so we're going to give them a go while this is doing its thing. Okay, so we're putting them in the grill, hopefully you can see that. Yep, so it should puff up um, in about a minute and a half, so I'm going to put a little alarm. Wherever my phone is, there's my phone. Going to put a little alarm on to make sure that that is doing its thing. Is there any questions? Are we all good? How is everyone? What, what is everybody doing? Is it sunny where people are? Is it not? Okay, so I'm just putting an alarm on for, for them, but I also will watch them. I just want to let you know, just so if the timings are correct. I might, I might need actually my technique that I did before, which was my brush for... I need my brush to get rid of the excess flour. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to flip them now because they're getting there. Need my oven glove. The 
veg is now up to a simmering temperature. Mine is a little bit longer. Shush. Right, I just need a little bit longer on them. So I'm going to dust the flour off when it's cool. How many naan birds will I eat in one go? Mm. Um, I don't know. I think I probably have about two. I'm making five, aren't I? So I'll make, I'll have two for this tonight's curry, because that's what I'm making. And then, uh, yeah, I guess I'll have the other three. Maybe for tomorrow, or I might do three today and then two tomorrow. So it's kind of like in a uh, in they kind of go with the fact that I've doubled the recipe. If you didn't double the recipe, then obviously you'd end up probably with more more naan breads than actually food to eat. So. Okay, so we're just going to see what they're doing now. So if you can see what they're doing, they're going a bit golden. So we're getting there. Uh, you know, sun is shining in Birmingham because yeah, it's a bit patchy here to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's a bit patchy here, but it's all right. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of off and on sun, in a sense. So, they're getting there. Okay, uh, then what I'm going to do is just going to flip them, because one side is done. get the other ones done but I'm going to put them on this instead um, hopefully if they move that's bubbling nice now so while we wait I will give you a little glimpse as to how the uh, the, the curry is going so that's what it's looking like at the moment. Bubbling away, cooking away. So it's uh, it's getting there, it's looking nice, I think. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's kind of giving you an idea of what it's looking like. We're gonna come back. Cool. Let's do this thing. Just gonna give it a little stir so it makes sure that it gets around everywhere. Cool, I'm just gonna get a baking tray. this and I will okay so they are looking nearly done and then we're going to put these on there and then we're going to give them a go Okay, 
This is what the first batch has come out looking like. Okay, so um, looking quite golden, as you can see. I'm going to dust them off a little bit, um, but that's the first batch. So hopefully they are looking quite good. Go. Looking nice. They're quite chunky, um, but they do have a feel of a, a bit of a naan bread. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do these. These should be bare because they've had more space. That is what I'm telling myself. <laughs> okay. So. These are the other ones, so they've, they're have they a lot flatter, so they should cook a bit better. Um, and then what we're going to do is going to, I don't know whether to try and transfer or just to put the baking tray in. To be honest, I'm just going to put the baking tray in. Um, and then we're going to do, when we did a flip, maybe put it on here. Okay, so we put them in. We'll go do their thing. So yeah, um, and I'll give these a little dusting. But even, and remember, these don't have the, um, the gravy, or oh, what's it called? Gravy browning. So it doesn't have gravy browning inside, and they're still coming out looking quite nice. So we will see how they come out. They're quite uh, airy, but yeah, looking good. So we'll see what the second batch comes out like. What have we got? I can hear the bubbling lovely. So, hey, there you go. So the mic is working well, that's good. Um, I'll have to have a listen back and see what it sounds like. Um, glad the mic is working out better. Um, yep, yeah, so that's bubbling away. Just gonna give that a little bit of a stir, just so different veg gets cooked. Okay, I'll keep an eye on these, they're doing alright. I would try and avoid um, the having too much flour on the front, because having too much flour on the sides of the naans affects the um, how well it can cook through. So obviously the one that had the least flour has come out quite golden, whereas the one that has quite a lot of flour, um, apart from that side, See that side doesn't have much flour, and it's come out quite golden. That side, got a bit of flour, it hasn't come out as golden. So the flour does stop the goldenness being created. Um, so, I'll just move, do a little bit of tidying while I keep an eye on them. It's very warm, very warm. like free heating. Okay. Yep, that's looking good. So I'm just going to flip them now. We'll have a little check on them. Do it a little bit longer. Move this marge out of the way. Very puffed up, looks nice, looks cute. Sunny in Wolverhampton, yeah. It's uh, it's sunny here to be honest. Um, no sign of showers yet, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah. So, it's cooking away. They're looking done now, so I'm just going to flip these over.
<laughs> My house is not used to this wall, so the fire alarm's going off. That's always good. I'll be back in a minute. There you go. Um, things always happen on my streams, don't they? So, uh, cool. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to keep an eye on these. They're looking nice. If anything, I think the space has helped this. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, I'm going to move this now. I don't really need that. Okay, I do need that as my, as my new cooling tray though. Okay, so it's nearly done. These, these I would say are looking quite non like. So it's all about as with anything, and this is why I kind of do sometimes this is my first run through. You can see the mistakes, you can see what works, you can see what doesn't. Um, so um, with this, obviously I think the second batch is better, um, but that's because I'm learning as I go along. So with all of these things, it is about learning it as much as you can. One more minute, and I'll be ready. Just gonna go in here. Okay, so these are looking done now. So. There you go, look how golden they're looking. They're looking nice. So I'm just going to put this tray in here again. Cool. Okay, so we're going to turn off the grill. We're going to give a little bit of a check on the back, on the, uh, what's it called, on the pan. Cool down these baking plates. That's what I'm trying to do because they've obviously got very warm. Because baking trays aren't necessarily meant to go into the grill. Okay. But well, the grill's as hot as it can go. So, you know, I don't know, I don't know what you're expecting. Um, but yeah, so that's, once I get rid of that, hello. These are the naan breads. Obviously, you can have a little bit of flour on this, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a dusting. There you go. That is one of my naans. I told you the second batch is coming out better. So I've still got a bit of flour on. There you go. So that's what that's what they're looking like at the moment. So we're gonna have a little look at the pan and see how that's going. I'm just gonna give it a little wipe through. Remember you're doing it for about 10 minutes, which I should have set a timer, or doing it until the sweet potato is cooked, really. Um got anything? Oh, yes, yes. This was a Juvella flower. Hello. It's like I'm sponsored. I'm not. Um, but yeah, Juvella flower. I don't have fake flower because I'm wheat intolerant. Um, but I'm sure you can use any flower. Um, as long as it's got the, the yeast element inside, uh, then yeah, you can use any flower. But this is, uh, yeah, Juvella. Uh, Juvella stuff. That's looking a lot better. They're looking a lot more naan. 
like. Um, so, these are doing its thing. Let me take you to the back. Okay, so this is what it's looking like at the moment. You can see it's bobbling away. Cooking away the curry. So yeah, what, what are you thinking? It's looking quite nice. And remember, with this recipe with the naan breads, um, I haven't used, as it's stated that I should, and I'll put it in the chat again, um, I haven't used uh, gravy dropping. Gravy droppings, yeah? Gravy browning. There you go. I haven't used that. So Sorry about the glitching. You're coming back. There you go. Um, so, yeah, I haven't used uh, gravy browning. I'll put the recipe in the chat. So that's the recipe that I followed. Um so yeah, it's uh, it's getting there. I'm just going to check the sweet potato once um, once I give it a little bit longer. I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying. And if there's any other questions about the recipes, let me know. Just to create a little bit of space, because otherwise, um, you're not going to be able to see the products. That's bubbling away. Yeah. Hopefully, everyone is good. Yeah, let me know if there's anything that you want me to try and attempt. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you want me to try and attempt with the uh, PKU date. I have no ideas at the moment. And like I said, because I'm part of now the NSPKU schedule, I feel like I need to do something quite fancy or interesting or I don't know I don't know what people prefer me to make or to prefer me to attempt to make is the uh, is the thing so I'll just put my watch back on okay uh, this is the thing let me just check what the state of this sweet potato is still a bit hard so it's got a little bit longer to go And yeah, normally if you, I'll show you how much mixture there was left with um, with the naan breads. So you probably could have another one, another naan bread out of that. The recipe is meant to make six, so you are more than welcome um, to make the six. I think my uh, baking trays are just a bit small, um, so I didn't want to necessarily make them attach too much in the proving stage. Um, but yeah, they've come out looking good. Um, and they're good... Uh, Good rustic, you can rip off bits to dip it into uh, your curry, um, which will be coming. So, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, those bowls are done. Let's bring them back. So, yeah, uh, any... I, sweet or like, I'm open to, to open to what people want me to do necessarily with the. Uh, International PKU Day. Um, you are more than welcome to uh, on the social medias. Up there. Oh, there you go. Up there. You're more than welcome to contact me on there uh, to let me know about uh, what, what you'd like me to cover. Because um, I don't have a clue. 
to be honest. Um, and I know that uh, Ju uh, Julie's uh, daughter Jess is doing all the cooking at the moment. So uh, I don't want to cross paths because she's, she's going to be doing this in about five years' time. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine for taking over this. Okay, so that's doing its thing. Let me just stir it. Obviously, if you had your lid, probably would go a bit quicker, this would. I don't even need to make anything I need, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, obviously there'll be chats and discussions. I'll be a very busy man that day. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, um, this idea of fortnightly, uh, Tom's Kitchen works out better for people. Um, it means there's like something a bit more to look forward to. Um, and yeah, hopefully the setup that I have now with the sound and all that sort of stuff, means that it's a, a, a little bit more professional uh, than just some bloke in his kitchen. Uh, which I still am, but obviously I have a media background, so it should be good. So I'm gonna send you back to what the curry is looking like, just so you can have a little check up on itself. She sings and dances, I know, I know. She's, Jess is gonna take over the world. So. It stopped. It may have stopped. Hang on, we're coming back. Boom. So that's what it's looking like at the moment. Quite a lot of, <laughs> quite a lot of steam and smoke. Um, but yeah, it's looking nice. I'm trying to focus now on making like entire meals. In a sense, if you haven't noticed. Um, so yeah, I, what are people thinking to the look of it? Is it looking nice? Yeah, it's smelling good. It's got quite a lot of herb, quite a lot of spices and stuff in it. Okay, so we're going to come back. Ooh, having a lovely glitchy rave there. That's the only thing with my setup. Um, I need one more thing to make that camera better quality, uh, which I know what I need. I just need to earn some money. So uh, yeah, that, that's, my, that's my next step with the streaming setup. That's the only thing that I'm really missing. Um, the rest of it is all sorted now. Uh, so yeah, we uh, will going to try this again with the fork to see if uh, if it's soft or not. Yeah, that's looking good now. Right, so what I'm going to do is, if there's a bowl, so what I'm going to do is move this camera. Yep, so we're moving the camera ready for the grand reveal. Is that looking good? Uh, Cool. So, we're going to transition to the camera now. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. we got our, our curry. So if we now move this out, you can see what the curry looks like. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to pour some of this curry Obviously, ideally trying to get the broccoli as well, because that is the ex that's the exchange components. Okay, 
And I think that is all the broccoli, so I'm just going to fill it up now. Okay, so we can move this now because we need this over here. So that's what I've got there. That's my curry. That's how much you've got left, if you can see. So you've got a good, decent, for me, that's about half a meal-ish, or like a meal with a with with the naans. So that's what, that's, that's what it's looking like. And then we're gonna get the plate. And we're gonna go for these lovely, Nice. And there you go. Um, I now switch to the front camera. Hello. So um, yeah, this is this is the uh, my dinner, <laughs> in a sense. Uh, so you see it from the top down section. Um, so it's mainly sweet potato. You can have broccoli in it if you want, if you've got the exchanges for it. Um, obviously I use 90 grams, so that's an, that's an exchange and a half when doing it. Um, but you don't have to have broccoli, you can just have just purely the sweet potato and all the components. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's looking nice. You can dip these, um, I could split them, but that's kind of more pitters. The idea is the dip. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully that's looking good. So uh, yeah, if there's, is there any other questions or is that kind of it? Are we? Oh, we've got some verdicts. We love it, Tom. Yep, yeah, I think that's about uh, about what the, the curry look like. Looks delicious. Cool. Uh, thank you, Anita. That looks really good. Well done. Thanks. Looks really great, Tom. Really colourful. Great colour on you. Yeah, I'm surprised. The, the naan bread colour is quite good, um, considering I haven't put um, the gravy browning browning in there. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I could have green beans, courgettes, leeks. Um, yeah, anything that kind of will take about, um, about 10 to 15 minutes to soften and to cook down, you could have instead of broccoli, um, by all means. So yeah, you can have green beans. That would probably go quite well um, as a different component within your within your curry. Uh, courgette, not a big fan of courgette, but you could put courgette in there. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's cool. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the setup. I hope you enjoyed the, the new things, uh, the mic and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I'll take pictures. I'll put them up on social media. If you've got any queries and questions, that's my social media. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, you'll have a great weekend, rest of the weekend, because it's a Sunday. Bizarre. So I'm sticking to Sunday, so let me know if Sunday or Saturday works better. Um, I'm kind of trying it out, especially with the International PKU Day in two weeks. Um, but then after that, I'm open to whether it's a Saturday or Sunday is better. Um, so Jess is doing rainbow cupcake. Oh. See, I can't rival with rainbow cupcakes. I'll have to find something else. Uh, maybe I'll just do meals, because obviously then I can eat. Um, so yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you for being with me this afternoon. Uh, yeah, hopefully you've had a good time. Have a great rest of the day, and I will see you uh, in two weeks' time. Uh, thanks again, and uh, yeah, take care. Bye.